you've never been here and you want me to try to explain how it is, you can't describe it. Gathering is a family you. Juggalos, we're misfits. This is my home. It's the best week of everybody's life. It's always the best time of year. We look forward to it. You can do whatever you want until you come here and experience it and see what it is. Nothing will ever come close to this experience. This is my 10th gathering. Like, my first one started off in 02 in Peoria, man. Like, and then we went to 03. Nothing but love, man. I love meeting people, that's why I come here. I love to meet people. This is my sixth year here. This is all I'm about. I've been to nine out of the 14 that they've had, so at least half. It's like they get to show us so much love from like Colorado, like I'm from Kentucky. She met some homies from New Zealand. I've met homies from Australia, Japan, China, Canada, as far out as Fresno, Cali that drove here in the car all yeah. the way. I've drove 16 hours to get to gatherings. And like, it's just so much love, man. We do whatever we want to. Like we hang out, we, we joke around, we play. I mean, there's nowhere else like it. There's nowhere else you can go and literally do whatever you want. No one's gonna say anything about it. Nope. All of us, we get to come together once a year, you know, do what we do. I can go eight months of the year going through my life just to know that you're gonna be there, you're gonna have so much fun, and it's always that highlight. That's why you're always coming back. You, you come back year after year, and for all of us to have the similar interests, similar uh, things in common, we love the same music, it's easy for us to come together, develop fellowship, you know, develop the bonds, and, and to have that friendship and, and our peers. That's why we're Juggalo family. There's haters everywhere. Everybody's gonna be hated for something they do, no matter what it is. If, even if they got their best, they're trying to do something good. They think we're gang members and we're this and we're that. I'm it's nobody. like, I'm a college graduate. I, get a I have regular job, a good man. job. Yeah. I have two good jobs, you know what I'm take saying? Care of myself. I take care of my, and it's like, I'm not that stereotype, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's different here, but everybody, fits in at the same time. Typical fact of a stereotypical And the ones who don't get together tighter than anybody ever before, which is why the, the bonds usually last a lot longer and they're a lot stronger. We're no different than the hippies and all that. Like, we just, you know, we don't, they don't understand us, so they don't know what to make, and they just have to put some kind of cap on it, some kind of label to get it around it and like feel it out. Black, white, brown, whatever, you're this, juggalo, non-juggalo, it comes down to individual level, man. You gotta meet somebody and, and judge them individually for who they are. You can't just group a, every, a group of people and say you're all this or you're all that. That's, that's bullshit, man. We're not a bunch of druggies like people drunk think drunk we are. We're not, we're not. This is trash. Like, we have full-time jobs. We, we, do, we do what normal people do. We go to work. We have families. We, we pay our bills. We're normal people. We just, we just, we live differently. The, the concert's not even one of the main reasons people come here. The main, one of the yeah, main it's reasons, all about the family. Yeah, it's all about the family is one of the main reasons mm -hmm. people come. We all have gone through the same struggles, so we're all, we all have gone through the same problems, so we all have problems that we could relate to. Like, I bet this ninja here, he probably doesn't have the most money in his wallet right now, but I'll tell you what, if there's if there's anything he needs, like water or a hot dog, I'll be glad to help him out, you know? I just said this ninja was just standing over there randomly. I don't even know this kid. I just said, hey, fam, come up here, man. Let's do a game all game, you hog shit. I said, like, what's up, you know? Woo, woo, me and shit. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. that's family right there, you know what I'm saying? That's the vibes you get here at the gathering, man. We all love each other.
everybody thinks they're gonna get their ass kicked when they come here. And, and then everybody. And, and when you come here, it's all love, all fam. We come and we sit around and talk about our problems, any problems that we have at home. There's a ninja sitting around here that's willing to say, hey, you know, sit down and talk to us about it, man, you know. Put their arm around us. We don't know them. We just met them 10 minutes ago. They're like, hey, man, come talk to us. They've been there. They know what it's like. Silent and verbal ourselves. understanding. Exactly. Yep. It's just everybody's been there. We all know what it's like. We've all been through hell. We came back to fight. So. And then we come here to share the stories and enjoy the f out of it all. We're here with uh, Make a Wish Foundation. Yeah. I got. Uh, I was born with a uh, liver disease. I had like 13 or 14 surgeries yeah. or procedures done. Well, in like the past year, them, yeah. and then right now I got like a stent in my side. If y'all want to see that, I had a meeting with uh, some two representatives of the Make a Wish Foundation. They asked me like, I had to make. They told me I had to make a wish before I was 18. I had to have a wish, and right there I was just like, I want to meet ICP. And they're like, um, that's it. You just want to meet ICP. There's nothing that they do that you want to go to. I was like, I want to meet ICP at the gathering, and they're like, okay, well we can look into that. They called me like a week. Or, yeah, the week before the gathering, and they're like, you're going, you're going, you're going. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. It was crazy. If you have, like, a stressful job or a stressful life back home, wherever you're from, like, if you want to get away from it, just come to the gathering, have, like, a good time, kick back with, like, your family, your homies, just, like, watch some whoa, whoa, incredible whoa, whoa. happen on stage. Whoa, whoa. Everyone that they have performed is, is crazy. Like, oh, uh, it's... It's a great, great thing. chance to turn it around and you know if you die and you go to hell you deserve it because you have the opportunity to turn your life around now this you know, is basically the message that they've been giving us yeah, since, since the beginning the and then like some of us got it right away when they released the six jokers card which was that they said all along that after the six jokers card it would change the whole world they're preaching this as a reflection of the wicked world and they're they're becoming a clown painted up figure Arcade. and to show you a, re a reflection of the world and they're saying you do this and then they say the consequences like oh you beat up your wife you go to burn in hell you know like you hit your kids you, you know you go to burn in hell you molest little kids you know you're gonna end up bad you know bad things are gonna happen to you in eternity you're gonna get raped by a demon forever in hell they want us to find God and it's like they're not pointing out a di exact direction they're just telling us you know it's real God is real and hell is real and you need to change your ways before the end, you know, because then it's too late. The gathering is music with family, I guess, would be the best way I could put it. My best Two. gathering was, of course, Two. your first. I, in my opinion, your first is always the best because you know at that point you're never going to miss another one ever again. It's nice to be able to let go. And I'm from West Texas, so I don't get very many juggalos in my area of the world. But come up here, dude. You just can't beat it. Once you get in those gates, you're home. We did it last year. We're going to be here next year and every year after that until they shut this mother down. And good luck doing it, because it's going to be a riot if they try. <laughs> right. Yeah, she's getting the full gathering experience. She's saying hey to fans. 